Recently, I was asked by a relative to make a playing card holder. It's a quick project you can do. It only takes a few hours, a little bit of dry time with the glue. Really easy to do with minimal tools. Let me show you how we did it. The items you will need for this project are veneer, a scrap 2x4, about 15 inches long, a drawing bow, some wood glue and contact adhesive, a tape measure and a square, drill, some clamps, eighth inch plywood, could be Baltic birch or just a good no void plywood, a jigsaw, I also used a table saw, a miter saw, and a router. I start by cutting the 2x4 down to 15 inches. This will be used to make a form for the curve of the card holder. After cutting the 2x4 down to size, I take my square and mark up 3 quarters of an inch on both sides. This is where the curve will start. I then take my draw bowl and make a curved line in the 2x4, making sure to leave enough room on the top and the bottom because we'll use both sides when pressing the veneer. After the line is marked, I take my jigsaw and cut out the curve. If you have access to a bandsaw, that would work also. After you have the form cut out, make sure to save the top piece. We'll use that to act as a press later. The belt sander makes fast work of taking out any imperfections or saw blade marks in the mold. Over at the table saw, I cut my eighth inch plywood into strips. For this project, you'll need four strips that are an inch and a half tall and one strip that is three quarters of an inch tall. I am doing multiple card holders, so I cut up a whole bunch of it. After I have the plywood ripped down to size, I bring it over to the miter saw and cut them into 16 inch length strips. This will leave about a half inch of overhang over the mold, which will get trimmed up later so it doesn't have to be exact. I found that putting a backer board on the side of the mold helps align the pieces together. You will just want to remove this after you glue it up, just to wipe off any excess glue on the back side. Now that the form is made, it's time to glue the plywood strips together. I chose a tight bond 3 wood glue for this project, applying a generous amount and spreading it evenly. When gluing this all together, make sure to get the glue out of the slot where the cards will go. If it dries in there, it's kind of a pain to get it out after you're done. Once all the glue is applied, it's time to form the curve for the card holder. Using the top of the 2x4 that we cut off, I clamp it down with some pipe clamps and let it sit overnight. When it dries, it'll hold the curve shape of the form. I remove the clamps after 12 hours of dry time. The plywood is under pressure, so you want to give it plenty of drying time to make sure that it stays together. I scrape off any dried glue squeeze out and make a couple passes through the planer, then square the ends up at the miter saw. I also clean up any dried glue or rough spots with some 150 grit sandpaper to prepare it for veneering. I chose to veneer the faces of the card holder with a 10 mil paperback mahogany veneer. I sprayed both the front and the back of the card holder with pressure sensitive contact adhesive, letting it tack up before placing the veneer on it. I then set it back into the mold and clamped it for about 10 hours to dry.
Once the veneer was dry, I put a flush trim bit in my router table. I ran the outside curve on the flush trim bit. I'll have to trim the inside curve with a razor blade. With the mold as a backer, I use a sharp razor blade to cut the excess veneer off of the card holder. The last thing I did was took some 150 grit sandpaper and cleaned up all the sharp edges that the veneer left. Hey everybody, I wrapped up the playing card holder today. Uh, it turned out pretty good. That's an easy project to do. Very few tools needed to do it and very few materials really needed to do it. Just some thin plywood, some wood glue, clamps, and you can make one of these. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below on how I did this or what I did or why I did what I did. Um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, we love subscribers. We have more projects coming up too. We have uh, some small ones, some big ones. We'll see all sorts of stuff coming soon to Bay Ridge DIY. Check it out and have a good one.